Hey everybody, this is Daniel Ruiz, and we're going to go and do another uh, message today. It's going to be creation day one, but before we do that, let's go and pray real quick. Father, please forgive us for our sins, past, present, future, Father. We come humbly before you, Father, because we want to understand your word today, Father. May your peace fill this place, God, and may your mercy, Father, fill the person listening, God. May you bring hope to them, Father. For you are the living hope, Father. In Jesus' name, you are the light of the world. In Jesus' name, may your grace fill this place, God. And may we understand your word today. In Jesus' name, amen. So we're going to go and read Genesis 1, 3 through 5. And it's going to be in the New Living Translation, the NLT. And if you would like, you can uh, grab your Bibles. We're going to go and read together. Uh, so here we go. Then God said... Let there be light, and there was light, and God saw that it was good. Then he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. Together these made up one day. God is so powerful that even His just his word creates light. And this light came about even before he made the stars and the sun all that shines so beautifully in the sky his word created the day and the night that's beautiful and we're going to dig a little bit deeper in on this uh we're going we're going to go to second corinthians 4 6 okay for god who said let there be light in the darkness has made us understand that this light is the brightness of the glory of God that is seen in the face of Jesus Christ. Because did you know that Jesus Christ is the light of the world? He is the Word. Did you know in John 1.1, 1, 1, in the New International Version, it says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning, so Jesus was in the beginning. He was um, in the middle of creation. God the Son and the Holy Spirit and through him all things were made without him nothing was made that has been made because it was a team effort from God the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit the Father Son Holy Spirit because God spoke it Jesus okayed it and the Holy Spirit manifested it and a little uh, short description of what the Trinity could be is an egg there's the yolk the white and the shell there are three, but you don't call it the yolk, the white, and the shell. You call it the egg. You call it an egg. It's something so simple, but this is exactly how God is. He's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We don't call him that. We call him God. Because he's three in one. As we go on here, it says, In him was life, and that life was the light of all of mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it, because no darkness can shine brighter than God. He created the light, and he cannot be overcome by the dark. And another description that says that Jesus is the light is in John 8, 12. In the internet, and we're going to use the English Standard Version this time. And it says, Jesus is talking to the crowd. He's saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness but will have the light of life because Jesus is the word and he is light he is the light and when we follow Jesus we have that light within us and I pray that if you haven't accepted Jesus right now you can accept him right now because Jesus is the light and you want that light pray this prayer with me right now because it says in Romans 10 9 if um, if you do, if you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. But you have to know it in your heart. You have to believe it. You can't just say it and kind of like shove it off. No, you have to say it. You have to live it. You have to believe it when you pray it, okay? And come as you are right now because you don't know if tomorrow is promised. Your tomorrow is not promised. You might not be here tomorrow. You pray, pray right now while you still have time because he will accept you and he will hear your prayer. No matter how quiet it is, he will hear your prayer if you believe it and you mean it. And he will totally forgive you of your sins in Jesus' name. And he'll accept you, whoever you are. In Romans 10, 13, it says, everyone, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. No matter who you are, he will save you right now. Just pray this prayer with me right now. Say, Lord Jesus, 
I know I'm a sinner. Forgive me of my sins. I believe you died for me on the cross, and on the third day you rose again. I receive you in my heart as Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope you guys enjoyed this message today, and I hope you tune in to my next video. We're going to talk about Creation Day 2. Until the next time, I'll see you guys later. God bless.